Throughout history, the Earth has been struck by several natural calamities. One of the most powerful forces on the planet is volcanic eruptions. They may bury entire towns under superheated clouds of ash and gas or convert rivers into currents of muck and debris, ranging from magnificent lava fountains to lethal explosions. We can try to protect ourselves against volcanoes in the same way we can from hurricanes and earthquakes, but there is nothing we can do to stop them. There is currently just one supervolcano known to us, and it is located in Yellowstone National Park. Welcome to Cosmos Observer, where nothing goes unobserved in the universe, and join us as we explore the terrifying new discovery scientists made at Yellowstone Volcano. North America is the home to one of the most dangerous supervolcanoes in the world, which resides inside Yellowstone National Park in the state of Wyoming. Because of its potential to wreak global misery if a catastrophic eruption occurs in the future, the Yellowstone caldera is regarded as a supervolcano. This is similar to what happened 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 640,000 years ago, raising fears that another massive eruption is on the way based on the average time frame between preceding eruptions. Although the assertions are concerning, the United States Geological Survey continues to monitor seismographs in Yellowstone National Park for anomalous activity. Yellowstone in Wyoming's western state appears to be a quiescent supervolcano, meaning it might erupt at any time. According to Life Science, the Yellowstone supervolcano has erupted at least 10 times in the last 16 million years. The Yellowstone supervolcano may explode sooner than previously thought, according to a 2017 study. However, it will most likely be a mild eruption. When supervolcanoes erupt, they leave a trail of ash that blankets the ground and generates ash plumes that may be hundreds of meters thick. The explosion also forms a giant hole in the earth known as a caldera due to the lava outflow. Super eruptions can start literally with a bang and collapse of the chamber roof or begin gradually with hesitancy before escalating into catastrophic activity, said co-author Dr. George Cooper of Cardiff University School of Earth and Environmental Sciences in a comment. Overall, eruptions can be quick, continuous occurrences that can last a few days or episodic sequences that last decades. As a result of the unpredictability surrounding these occurrences, predicting when and how these volcanoes may erupt in the future is extremely difficult. Xin Hua Huang, a study author and seismologist at the University of Utah said, For the first time, we have imaged the continuous volcanic plumbing system beneath Yellowstone, which includes the upper crustal magma chamber we have seen previously, as well as a lower crustal magma reservoir, and connects the upper chamber to the Yellowstone hotspot below. The discovery, according to ScienceMag.com, is the missing connection between the plume and the magma chamber, as explained by geophysicist Peter Savelli. According to the United States Geological Survey, a supervolcano has erupted with a pyroclastic volume of over 1,000 cubic kilometers and a volcanic explosivity index of at least 8. Supervolcanic eruptions are very rare, occurring just once per 100,000 years. The researchers seek to use more modern technologies, like machine learning, to better identify pieces of evidence of hidden magma and its movement in the days and hours leading up to an eruption. They also emphasize that more education is needed on the regularity with which supervolcanoes erupt. Misinformation has led to the popular belief that a catastrophic eruption is coming at Yellowstone, whereas in reality it is exceedingly improbable. As a result, we must strengthen our awareness and communication regarding the distinction between regular non-eruptive disturbance and symptoms of an impending eruption. On Tuesday, the findings were published in the journal Nature Reviews Earth and Environment. 8.7 million years ago, clouds of hot volcanic ash blanketed much of what is now Idaho, destroying all plants and creatures in sight. A supervolcano erupted at Yellowstone, causing the most violent explosion in the park's history. Super eruptions have the potential to wipe out entire regions and affect the climate with the ash and gases they spew. Super eruptions are uncommon in the geological record, despite releasing tremendous amounts of debris. As a result, we're unsure why they're so big or how they got that way. It happens regularly. The complexities of Yellowstone's major volcanic eruption are documented in a new study published in the journal. A previous Yellowstone eruption scattered volcanic ash across the western United States. Due to the huge number of dumps, tens of thousands of square kilometers, it may be difficult to identify between eruptions. To get around this, volcanologists gather detailed information on each geological deposit, including molecular and temporal data. 
After examining the data, they determined that much of the volcanic material previously thought to have come from multiple tiny eruptions had nearly the same chemical components and age. The creation of these deposits was caused by two previously unknown super eruptions. These eruptions were tremendously hot, leaving a thick coating of molten volcanic glass throughout the landscape. The younger of the two super eruptions, Gray's Landing, is thought to have happened 8.7 million years ago and is 30% larger than all previous Yellowstone eruptions in terms of material expelled. Yellowstone currently contains a total of six late Miocene eruptions in addition to these. This means that every 520,000 years, a new eruption occurs. Since then, the number of eruptions has decreased. Once every 1.5 million years, it began to happen. According to the statistics, Yellowstone is slowing down, and the next super eruption will be 900,000 years away if present patterns continue. Forecasting eruptions is, however, a risky business, so the United States Geological Survey has a continual monitoring program in place on Yellowstone just in case. Cardiff University researchers looked at geochemical and petrographic data from 13 super eruptions over the last 2 million years, including the most recent one, the Taupo volcano in New Zealand, which happened over 24,000 years ago. There didn't appear to be a single unified model that showed how each of the 13 events transpired, with some starting slowly over weeks or months and others erupting swiftly and violently. According to the experts, the eruptions lasted for varied durations of time, with some lasting only a few days or weeks and others lasting decades. According to geologists, the youngest Toba volcano, which erupted 74,000 years ago, erupted rather swiftly. The Oranui eruption, on the other hand, began slowly before having a caldera collapse and then progressed over several months approximately 25,000 years ago. A super eruption is a once-in-a-lifetime event that would profoundly change the planet and human civilization. Although it is difficult to predict the whole extent of the devastation, some impacts, such as a sudden reduction in temperature, are likely. The greatest far-reaching effect of the Yellowstone eruption might be colder temperatures. Volcanoes may shoot sulfur gas into the upper atmosphere, resulting in sulfuric acid aerosols that swiftly travel throughout the globe. According to experts, sulfuric aerosols are the principal cause of climatic cooling after an eruption. The sun would be dispersed throughout the day by aerosols in the Earth's atmosphere, giving the sky the look of a cloudy winter morning. The sky throughout Europe would become scarlet in the days after the eruption. To assess how the climate might be affected, the BBC utilized historical data from Indonesia's Toba Supal Volcano, which erupted 74,000 years ago, as well as a computer simulation forecast from the UK Met Office and the Max Planck Institute in Hamburg. Experts estimate that a Yellowstone eruption would spew 2,000 million tons of sulfur 40 to 50 kilometers over the Earth's surface. The resulting sulfuric acid aerosols would take two to three weeks to coat the globe, producing devastating results. Global annual average temperatures might drop by much to 10 degrees, according to computer projections. Furthermore, the Northern Hemisphere may see a 12-degree temperature dip. Experts predict that colder temperatures will last six to 10 years before returning to normal. According to experts, the monsoon would collapse due to even higher temperature fluctuations in the southern hemisphere, resulting in catastrophic starvation in Asian nations that now rely on such rains. Given the size of the eruption, the time of year, and a multitude of other factors, the summer after the eruption might be at least 5 degrees cooler across Europe. Based on all of the new information, the Yellowstone super consequences eruptions may vary. Yellowstone supervolcano isn't the only one. In fact, supervolcanoes can be found all over the world. On Earth, there are around 16 known supervolcanoes, each at least seven times the size of Mount Tambora, which experienced the largest eruption in recorded history. The explosion of a single supervolcano in Yellowstone can be catastrophic. Every continent has at least one supervolcano. You'd have a hard time finding a safe location to go if they all erupted. The human race would suffer extinction. What are your thoughts? Let us know what you think in the comment section. I hope you found this video entertaining.